Hello, this is Hui. Welcome to watch my video C++ Programming on Linux. In previous video, we have discussed EVPPK and we have wrote a C++ example to generate RSA public key file and private key files. In application, the common usage of public key and private key pair are sign, verify, encrypt, and decrypt. In this short video, it's going to demonstrate how to use RSA public key and private key to perform encryption and decryption. Here on the Linux, first we are going to adjust our class evpclass.h and evpclass.cpp. In previous video, we have created a class called myEVP underscore key. In this class, we have a generator RS key method. We have a load key method, which is the load key from file key type, will be public or private. In this short video, we are going to add two new methods, pk underscore encrypt and pk underscore decrypt. Method pk underscore encrypt will encrypt text message using public key. The input will be the text message, name is p in text, and the output will be the pointer, we call the p out bytes, and the return code will be integer is encrypted date byte length. First, we declare some variable return code out byte length and in text length, which using str line function get from input text message. First, we check our pk. If pk is non pointer, it means our pk not generated and loaded. So we just return the zero, print the error message. After pk verify, step one will be instantialize a new a context object functions evp pk ctx new. First parameter is pk, second parameter we use now, it means we take a default implementation, return is a pointer, the name is ctx. Step two will be initial. Initialize public key algorithm function is the EVP PK encrypt init parameter will be CTX. Step three will perform public key encryption function EVP PK encrypt. First time we call this function, we use it now. It means we are going to get byte of length. One of coding way which we get length, and we use an open SS M alloc, allocate memory, and then we use an open SS free, free the memory. In this short video, we're not going to allocate memory. We just allocate the memory before we call this method. So we're going to call this function again. First the parameter is the CTX. Second the parameter is the pointer of encrypted date. Out byte length is the length of encrypted date. Input a text message and input a text message length. Step four, a free context object allocate the memory. Function is called EVPPK CTX free. Parameter is the CTX. Return code will be out byte length and return a return code. The method pk underscore decrypt is similar as encrypt. The input will be the pointer in byte which encrypt the date and the in byte length encrypt the date length. Output will be the text message called p out text and the return is the integer which is the decrypt the date length and the return zero or negative value decrypt fail. We create a two variable return code and tag length. If pk equal non pointer, we print the message. pk is not initialized or loaded. After pk verification, step one will be instantialize a new CTX object. Function is evp pk CTX new. Parameter one is the pk. Parameter two is the implementation. Now means default implementation. Return code is pointer. Name is CTX. Step two is initialize a public key algorithm contact using key of PK, which means we decrypt using private key. Function is EVP PK decrypt init. Parameter is the CTX. Step three perform a public key decryption operations. Function is EVP PK decrypt. First call. Now we get the text lines. 
If return code is OK, the code is a function again. First is the CTX, second parameter is output text message pointer. Next parameter will be the text message length and the input byte pointer and the length. Step four, a free CTX object allocate memory. Function is the EVPPK CTX free parameter CTX. Return code will be the text length. We save our program. The example we use in this video is that Bob plan to send a message to Alice secretly. So he asked Alice to share the key for encrypting the message. This is a classical usage. Alice first generates a two key, a public key and a private key. And Alice shares Bob with her public key. Bob write message, encrypt, use Alice's public key and send encrypt message to Alice. Alice receives encrypt message using private key to decrypt this message and read Bob's message. Here on Linux, we create two programs, pksendmessage.cpp and pkreceivemessage.cpp. Two programs will communicate each other using shared memory. Here is our class.h, class implementation.cpp. In our previous video's example, interprocess shared information using shared memory. First, we declare memory buffer is max buffer size and the shared memory length with the max buffer size. We refresh our shared memory and we instantialize a segment which is create my shared memory size will be 65536 bytes. We use the segment allocate method, allocate memory. It got a local share memory pointer, the SHPDR. We get a handle using the segment, get a handle from address using this handle for receiving message process. And then we make a loop. In each loop, use stdcin gate line to read the message from console right into the text buffer. If text message is equal exit, break loop. If not equal exit, we get a length. And if length greater than zero, we memory set our shared memory and memory copy a local memory to shared memories. In order to adjust for using encrypt message, first we have to adjust the usage. So our usage will be get key file from command line because this will be the encrypt message. So we're going to use the public key as a key file. And we still need to refresh our shared memory, get a segment, get a local shared memory pointer, get a handle. After that, we're going to instantialize key object using lab open SSL, my EVPPK, and the name of the key OBJ. Instead of using text buffer, I have created message, okay, text message. This is defined in our header file. Structure message, we have a message length and the message body is a max buffer size. We have to declare our PK. Pointer, we name is my PK. We have to instantialize key object, name is key OBJ. After we instantialize a key object, my PK equal load the key. Key type will be the public and the key file name will be the argument one. E. If my PK is uh, non PTR, it means load field exit with the exit failure. And before we print a message. After we load the key, we can make a loop. First, we promote input a message. We are going to memory set. We memory set our message body and we, and we get from the console into text message, the message body. Message body equal exit, break, and end our program. Our 
message lines equal extra line of our message body and if message lines greater than zero first then reset Item message body with the max buffer size and the memory set shared memory. Then we have to encrypt output will be the byte line equal key encrypt. First the parameter will be the text message message body. Second parameter will be BIT and if lines greater than zero it means we do have date sent to our shared memory and before we do the memory copy we can print out an encrypted message using print the hash method first is the message body second is message lines then we do memory copy copy Byte message and uh, size will be shared memory length. And then we have to delete this. We don't use this anymore. And uh, our shared memory length will be now. We finish our program. We going to the next programmer is going to receiving message which we have to adjust the usage. We need to add a key file. We still in that right segment, in that right handle, obtain the handle value from argument one. We still using the segment, get address from handle, pointer, get local message. First you centralize a key object. Key. Name is the key object and the load key, which is uh, my PK equal because this is uh, receiving, so I'm going to decrypt the message. The key will be private and the key file name from argument two. If Field load a key, go to exit, and before exit, print out the message. After we load the key successfully, we still make a loop. Each loop, we memory set our option, we select the option, read or exit. If exit, just a break loop. If read first, we centralize message object. Message, call that text message. Byte message, and uh, we memory copy, share the memory to our byte message. Message E, and the lines will be And after copy the message from shared memory to encrypt the byte message, and then if that's greater than zero, it means we have received message from shared memory, and uh, we can print byte message to see what we received. The key print hash for the parameter will be the message body. Second parameter is lines, so we can see what we received. After we received, we have to decrypt this message, text message, lines equal, decrypt, the message body, input will be byte message, message body, and message lines. Then we can print out message received, which is Message body and lines. Then we go back for another loop. Now we can save our program. 
we compile our program. Now our program got compiled. In order to test our program, first we have to generate a key using previous videos program, EVP generate RSC key. The usage will be the EVP generate RSC key 2048, private key and public key. In order to test our program, we are going to use two terminal. First one, PK send message using public key. We got the handle. Second one, PK receive message. Handle is 240 and using private key. Now, Bob send message. This is a hash after encrypt and write a shared memory. If Alice read, so Alice read encrypt message and use a private key to decrypt this message. Says hello Alice, this is Bob, 24 byte. Hello, this is Hui. Thanks to watch my video. Hope this is useful. It's going to be great to have your feedback.